What is up everybody? Main Fly Guys here, gonna show you a bluefish fly that I have been using um, and hooked up with a ton of bluefish on. Um, it's got two hooks on it, it's a dual, dual uh, tandem pattern because I found that a lot of the bluefish I've been catching are nipping at the back, so I put this stinger in the back here um, that gives, you know, it just adds a little little stinger in the back. This is my favorite stinger hook ever. I mean, it's incredible. It is an A-Rex Curve Salt SA-274. And it is, ooh, it's amazing. I mean, it's just an amazing, just an amazing pattern. Um, okay. I've been using white because white seems to be one of the better colors for bluefish um, it's been working really well here's one thing I'll say is use crappy material so these are like feathers that I discard because they're so crappy I have four here um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay them on top and I'm going to just tie them in right on top I don't particularly care um, about the cleanliness of this pattern. Do you see these, they're just ragged? I actually want it to be ragged. The most important thing I find with this pattern is uh, stability. I don't think that bluefish care all that much about the cleanliness of the pattern. I think they're more concerned um, with something's moving out front of them. So this pattern is built to withstand the teeth of a bluefish. Right. So the thread I'm using is Danville uh, 210, I think it is, pretty sure it's, no it's, yeah, I think it's 210, um, whatever, Flymaster Plus, it's a super uh, strong thread. This is just some flash, some pretty good sized flash. I think bluefish like flash, I don't think stripers like flash at all. If you've never caught a bluefish, the fight is insane, pound for pound, they're well, they're harder fighting fish than stripers, pound for pound. I don't know if that'll get me in trouble or not, but they are. Um, okay, so I got my feathers in here. These are schlopping. These are, I think, five to seven inch schlopping. Um, but I tie them in, you know, it's maybe four inches off the back here. Um, next tie-in point, I have ratty, like really ratty um, bucktails here. And again, like... I don't use your good bucktails, use your crappy ones. Um, oh, I do like the look of this one. I um, mean, what I'm gonna do is have a clump here, and I want these fibers to go about halfway down the tail, so somewhere right around there. What I'm gonna do is tie them in, one, two, three, push down on top, pinch on the side, push down on top, pinch on the side, that should give me a nice 360 degree wrap. Okay, and then I'm gonna come in, trim off the tips, and secure it up. Okay, I have put super glue on the edge of my wraps here, which these wraps are not super clean. I get some loose fibers there, but I'm because it's for blues, I try to put super glue basically on, ever ma on every major wrap in point, and even kind of some in between just because they have their teeth are just so rough that they just they break everything. So I put super glue all over the place or whatever type of glue you want. Um, UV works pretty well as well. So there's our back end. That is it. Now, this is going to be connected to a front hook. And on that connection piece, I have a 30 pound uh, bite wire here. This is 30 pound nylon coated. It's black and nylon coated. That is very important because what we're going to do is we are going to thread it through, like so. Thread it through. And then we are going to twist it. And what you can do is at the front here, I often use some type of pliers to hold it because it can slip really easy out of your fingers. Um, so I'll see if I can get this on, yeah. It's only gonna be a couple inches of twist, maybe two, so maybe here I have one, basically two thumb lengths that I'm gonna twist. Okay, so we've got it twisted. Boom, nice and tight, there's a nice twist there. What we're gonna do is take a lighter, 
holding good tension here is take a lighter and just gently pass it over don't breathe in the fumes you don't want the nylon to catch on fire if you hold it too long it will catch on fire so this twisting is it makes this so secure like this this little stretch now once it cools down is stronger than the tension of the metal so i would i mean i've it's held my entire body weight before so this is how i make my musky leaders and it has held my entire body weight so i weigh 190 pounds it has held that so you know it's pretty impressive so there we go that's all set I'm gonna add in some beads. You can, you know, I have a fury of beads here. You can add in whatever color. Blues seem to have, they seem to like bright colors. So uh, red being one of them. So I typically use these red beads. Um, so I'm just coming on here and what I'll do is thread on these red beads. Bluefish, I don't know. They, I think they like the color red. This is a bluefish fly, so we're gonna have some red. Boom, there's our red. Um, we'll take this out. So there's the back of our fly. Super simple, super easy, super durable, and that's really important. So for the front half, I have here a three-aught stinger hook. I like it. Um, this is not really great in the salt. However, I really like the hook for blues um, because it's a really good size. So what I'll do is start a thread base for something to grab onto because there's a hook. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There's a hook at the end of this. I really want this tie-in to be secure. So what I'll do is I leave these two tag ends. This is why I only went two thumbs. So I'll tie it in right on top. Boom, boom, boom. Make sure it's kind of where you want it to be. I like to have a little bit of space in between, you know, in between these two hooks. Maybe even a little bit more. Right there is pretty good. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I have about a thumb length and a half in between here maybe I should have put more little beads on here but eh. um, and then what I'll do is I'll wrap this down tight take the the excess tips here pull them backwards one on each side so this one I'll pull back on this side the other one I'll pull back on the other side this after I get it all said and done is a really really strong way to get these tips in and then boom I'll come in with my snippers don't use your scissors for this and I will tie that in now before I finish tying it in I'm just gonna add just a bunch of super glue to it on both sides really get it in there just get it in there um, okay boom that's set and then I'm just going to continue wrapping it and really make it a secure fitting um, so that this does not slip and it's virtually impenetrable from bluefish teeth. Okay, I will speed this up so you don't have to watch me wrap it. Okay, so this has enough super glue and enough wraps. It's so secure now. It's just incredibly secure. So the first thing I'm going to do, you need fairly long deer hair some bucktail for this. No, it doesn't need to be super long, but fairly long. Um, is I'm going to do a bullet tie, but I'm going to have my tips be rather long. I want the tips basically to reach the beads. So right about there, see how they just are reaching it. So that's going to be my first tie in point right at the back end. And again, I'm just going to push, separate, push, separate it tie it down, make sure it's a nice 360 degree covering. Boom. These fibers should be a touch longer. 
Uh, they're about, they should be roughly about the same as the ones out back, but, but again, I'll say this. They're bluefish. They don't particularly care. Okay, that's actually pretty good. There we go. So you see, it's just this covering. It's just this nice covering. Makes this middle section, you know, fill in a little bit more. So you'll do that first bullet tie-in, and then you'll go to the back, I mean, to the front here, right past where you tied in all your wire, and you'll do the same thing. You'll do the exact same thing, and you're just gonna kinda fill in. Just keep filling in these gaps. Down, circle, pull. Make sure it's nice. 360 degree covering, boom, push it back, spread out some fibers. I don't take too much time with these patterns because I tie so many of them. You know, I, I, I'll just go through them because they get ruined in only a few fish. Um, if you're like, I really want this to last, I would put super glue in, in each of these tie-in points. You know, I'd put super glue in each of them. Um, so I'll come forward. I will put another bit of flash at some point. I think I'm gonna do one after this. Okay, here's where you can add a different color. Like if you wanna start adding different colors to make a different head, this would be the time to do it. For this one, I'm just sticking with white because um, I just want to get rid of this bucktail because some moths got to it. <laughs> um, so I kind of just want to get rid of it because it's kind of nasty. But uh, yeah, so boom, tie in, same thing, bullet point. The only tie in that's different is uh, the head. And I'll show you. you. You don't even need to make it different. You can do the same all the way to the head. But I'll show you, I do something just slightly different. Okay, here I'm gonna add in some more flash. Not much, just a, just a little bit. Um, I think bluefish kinda like the flash. I don't think stripers like flash at all. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay it over the top, kind of like a veil. Not the full length of the fish, but pretty close. I'm going to tie it in right on top of that bullet and then I'm going to space it out with my fingernail. So I'm going to kind of dig my fingernail in there, give it a nice veil. Now we have this sort of shadow on the top. I'm going to take this bottom piece, I'm going to put it underneath and do the same thing on the bottom, kind of push my nail into it and get it to, boom, that's beautiful. So now it's sort of shadowed the whole fly, um, which I like. Boom. Okay, now we're at our final piece here. And I'm going to, you can again, you can do the same thing where you can keep it, um, you can do the bullet point again, or what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this part a little shorter. One, two. I'm still gonna push down and pull and push and pull and do that kind of thing, but I'm just gonna tie it in regularly. Um, look at that, isn't that beautiful? You're gonna be like, wow, this is this thing is ridiculous. Um, because this is just quicker and easier and I can make it pretty stable um, fairly, fairly quickly. Although it's probably not that much of a time difference. Um, okay. Good, I got a little flash here. Good, so then I'll just come through and really lock all these fibers in. Again, I'm not, like if I was trying to be pretty, I wouldn't do it this way, because you can kind of see it's kind of messy at the head. But I don't care because one, the fish don't care, and two, this fly is gonna last me at most five fish, at most. I mean, if that. 
So here, I am done with this. Boom. Good way, like I have some extra tips just lying around here. You can take a lighter and just briefly, if it really bothers you, which it doesn't bother me, um, and the fish definitely don't get bothered by it. But another good way to do it is to light a bodkin, get it really, really good, good and hot, and then you can just poke it right through, and that will clean up any loose fibers in there. Okay, this also is a step that you really don't need. Um, but I do it because I don't know. I, I, I don't know actually. I don't really know why I do it, but I do it um, because maybe it helps, maybe it doesn't, but I'm gonna put eyes on here. For bluefish, I really, I don't think it helps even a little bit. Um, I don't think they care at all whether it has eyes or not. However, it looks good in the pictures. And that's really why we do this, <laughs> is for the pictures. Boom. So yeah, bluefish, they've been around, I mean, in numbers in Maine. I, I can't believe how many there have been, um, which is great, like, because the stripers, it's a little hot right now for stripers. And they're, you know, they're not really biting. Everyone thinks they moved out deep, which is really funny. Because they don't have side scan. Um, like Origin Outfitters, Brian Rosa does. They're here. The stripers don't go anywhere. They just are lethargic because the water is 70 degrees. And that is too hot for a striper. The... UV I'm using, this is a, a flex. This is a flex coat um, because there's so many teeth that I like that there's a little give to this UV. And I think that is good um, for these fish is to have a little give just in case their teeth get really sunk in it. You know, it, it's a little give. All right, let's see here. Let's see. Look at that. I mean, that's just a bluefish snack. Do you see how raggedy it is? I love that. I love that. For stripers, I would be like, oh no, this is too too messy. I, which, it, it really doesn't matter. But, for bluefish, look at this. That is a bluefish fly. Where it is just raggedy, a raggedy bait fish looking to just get demolished. See that? Good action on the tail. Little red hot spot in there. And this, you just, how to fish it, strip this as fast as possible. You cast it out as far as you can, and you want to strip it as fast as possible. That, that is how you tie the bluefish. The main bluefish, that's what we'll call it. I don't know. Whatever. It's a raggedy, raggedy Ann is what we really should call it, because it's kind of a piece of shit. Oh, oh, can't swear. Piece of poop. Um, okay, that's the fly. Hope you liked it. Crazy fly. Had some crazy action on it. Great fly. Super, super easy to tie, super quick too. It only took me 15 minutes. Could do, you know, four or five of them in, in an hour once you get going. And uh, and that is it. So, thank you, HMH. Go buy HMH. If you don't if you don't have HMH, you're a loser. Go buy HMH. If you have any questions, mainflyguys.com, mainflyguys at gmail.com, mainflyguys on Instagram, Facebook, etc. You know the drill. Please subscribe. Thank you to my current subscribers. Appreciate it. Hope you like this fly. We'll see you next time.